This is a formal notice to David Bazuki, the founder and CEO of Roblox, about my banned Roblox accounts. I was 12 years old when I was on Roblox and was banned. Those accounts are worth well over a million dollars. I demand Jared Valdez 4 be unbanned or legal action will ensue. Hear that, guys? Roblox stole a million dollars from a 12-year-old. Uh, this is a legal threat that I fully support, and um, not only will I be protesting Roblox, uh, no videos, I will also uh, be protesting eating. I'm going to starve myself until this gets settled. I'm willing to put my life on the line just like Jared Valdez is. If you don't know who Jared Valdez is, this is a Roblox legend from back in the day. Uh, for all the wrong reasons. Jared Valdez was kind of the villain of Roblox. He would uh, steal other people's games and make them more popular. Uh, than the original. This is the one line on his bio. He was a Roblox user best known for plagiarizing games and selling scam items. But let me tell you why we, we still need to support him. Uh, let's go into his termination. I think he was already on thin ice because he received some bans for stealing places and threatening to steal places. Allegedly. I'm gonna use allegedly. I don't want to be part of this lawsuit, Jared. I'm I'm just trying to support you here. And then he, uh, I guess he stole his mommy's credit card and bought a lifetime, um... I think lifetime OBC was like $300 at the time. And then they really took him down when he made a website called Faceblocks. This was Facebook Roblox. And um, honestly, Roblox was kind of messed up for being so harsh on him. He was like a 12 year old making a social media network. Hey Roblox, how would you like it if uh, SpongeBob sued you for all this? For all this <laughs> Man, Jared was the villain of Roblox. Here's a video from 12 years ago with 200,000 views um, hating on him. Taco Bell. Yo quiero Taco Bell. Yo quiero Taco Bell. Yo quiero Taco Bell. I don't know. So it's just this. It's they made him pooping. Yep, this. That, this is the hate video. This has 200,000 views. You are a fool if you think this is an empty threat, though. He has since made a GoFundMe. Over a quarter of a million people saw my post about suing Roblox, David Bazuki. In order to have a fighting chance, I need your help by donating to my GoFundMe for my legal fees. All right, so if we go to the GoFundMe page, we see we're getting pretty close to our goal. We're $36 of $50,000, um, 10 of which those dollars was Jared Valdez himself. This is the same energy as like liking your own post. Why, why'd you donate $10? The GoFundMe fees will probably take some of this away. You just lost like a dollar. Hashtag justice for Jared. Some may say the account is only is worth $20,000, which is still a lot, but you got to think 10 years ago, $20,000 is a million dollars now. It's inflation. Surely, I don't, I don't know where the million dollar number came from, but I believe them. When I was 12, I was an active user on Roblox and my accounts were valued at well over a million dollars. Due to the content, virtual assets, <laughs> and community <laughs> engagement I had built. Um, and again, I'm not trying to pick apart this case. I support it fully, but um, <laughs> this is the community engagement. Um, but maybe in like ad revenue, this adds like $300,000, I'd say. $500,000 from this video. I think some of the content, I think it was in the virtual assets, I think those were, that might have been stolen, you know, according to the allegations. But that's okay, we all have allegations. I have a lot of allegations. This lawsuit will include the millions of users who were allowed to harass, bash, and attack Jared himself over the course of 10 years, making thousands of YouTube videos defaming Jared Named by famous YouTubers such as Poke, Sarah Barrier, and hundreds more. I saw Poke at RDC. Jared, you you should have made this public uh, like a week ago. I could have I could have brought this up to David Bazuki at RDC. I could have stabbed Poke to death at RDC. We need to start a movement. Kill Poke. Kill Poke. Kill Poke. Kill Poke. Jared, I can be. We could. 
uh, even leave this out of the video, uh, but I could be your inside guy. I could be your right hand man helping you with this stuff. Uh, I'm glad he didn't uh, include my name on this list or I'd have to kill myself because I I've made videos uh, about this. I think I fall under one of the people who have defamed him. Let's watch your video with 18 views from 10 years ago. Me pooping, not Jared. See, he's always uh, making fun of people. No. He hated me a lot. No. He apparently didn't like me. No. Uh, no, no, no. So apparently he, you know, jealous of me. I didn't know that. That's probably why he hated me. He even said in this video. And I was just like, oh, wow. He actually, you know, bait, was jealous. I mean, uh, looked yep. up to me. I still look up to somebody, you. You have to somehow look up to them. No, and exactly. Who they are, right? And so, I mean, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. For sure. I have him on Instagram. He posts oh. some weird. Sh I have to say. Oh. Uh, me? It's all in good name of humor, but he really posts some weird. Sh I remember one time he had like peanut butter all over his body and was just like, no. It just looked like almost like sh like he was covered no. in sh and I was like, wow, he be posting some weird. Sh you know, his, his videos, people like that type of stuff, I guess. <laughs> Where you roll around and, and look like you're in uh, Alright, well, I... You know, I really thank him for uh, mentioning me in his videos. And uh, sure, I, I thought we I thought, I thought we were leaving off on a good note. Uh, uh, and this other person, Sarah Barrier. I think that's this person, Sari Barry. Jared, I will join you on this fight against women. But Sari Barry makes uh, very good videos, so it's actually a shame that I'm totally against you now. All right, so we got a couple reacts. This is going good. We have some words of support. I'm gonna throw a dollar. Ah. Well, I did try. You know, I wanted to research their beef a little bit since Sari Barry was uh, incorrectly named, uh, but named nonetheless in the GoFundMe. So I saw this video. Of course, Jared is like number one on the list. I don't know why he's reacting like that. Yeah, why is he reacting? Why is he looking back at the, uh, I've never seen this before. I reacted this way because I didn't have a setup. All right, that's fine. I get what she's saying. That okay, you get what she's saying. Don't worry, we understand. It was just a joke. But the fact that she's making fun of me, like, oh. Oh. girl, go touch up your hair. Go get some conditioner because your hair looks what? janky as fuck. What are you, what? Your teeth need, you need to get that gap what? fixed. What prompted this? That's what you need to do. Go see a dentist. Go get that gap fixed. Jared, I'm trying to support you here. What? I don't think I can support uh, Jared's lawsuit after. That is, that's such an insane reaction to. She asked you why you're looking at the, at the monitor to react. Where did that come from? I anonymously donated $5 to this GoFundMe and I want to, uh, I want to re, re refund me. I I want a refund. I don't think I can support your campaign after that. Does it look like I'm talking with a gap in my tooth? What are you talking? I guess you're not, but dude, we can see directly up your. Why is your camera angle like? I feel like you didn't need to bring up anything of that nature. I feel like that was kind of insane. Am I wrong? Is that an insane reaction to someone going like this? Okay, I shouldn't make my videos and reacting to videos looking at the TV away from the camera. Like, I'm adapting. I'm. I feel like you could have said that instead of the other stuff. Becoming a better person. You are becoming a better person. The clown on me. I don't care. Go get your, I like I said, you. go get your gap fixed. Then, then. Then you go back to raging, why? Before all that, in my mind, Jared was a perfect angel. So that insane comment is really messing with my image of him. Also, I was looking through your videos. Uh, I recognize, I recognize this thumbnail from somewhere. What the hell, man? That's mine. <laughs> Yo, actually, no, you're, this isn't mine. I see the difference now. You have text right there. Mine doesn't have that. So this is actually, this is fine. This is a completely different thumbnail. I appreciate you. Making transformative content. Uh, I watched uh, her, but she didn't really say anything that horrible either. Horrible accusations. You'd think it was like, 
when you hear horrible accusations, I, I think we all probably think a similar thing. We're not, no one's accusing you of anything horrible. Nobody actually hates you. Don't worry. We love you. Roblox is no stranger to lawsuits. They did uh, sue Roblox YouTuber Ruben Sim for being r really mean, I think. I think that was a legal term that they used. Originally, they were looking for $1.6 million in damages. That is worth a little bit more than Jared Valdez's Roblox account. Let me do the, the, the currency transfer for you guys. That's one and a half Jared Valdez accounts in damages, but decreased 150,000 he had to pay and he's never allowed to touch Roblox again or he gets shot to death. Very interesting stuff. Uh, I wonder uh, how this will turn out. Uh, I wasn't gonna make the video until I saw the GoFundMe page being made and it's uh, been getting a lot of attention on Twitter. Uh, it's stuff like that. I don't think it will be successful, uh, but I may be uh, made a fool of when it works and all of our, our game is shut down forever. Uh, in the meantime, I will rally the troops to support Jared Valdez suing Roblox. Hashtag justice for Jared. I'm gonna see how many uh, star creators I can make uh, join me on my video protest and no eating protest. A starvation strike. I'm gonna see how many of us will die. Yeah, no hate to anyone. This is just very interesting.